State inspectors are trying to figure out what caused a fire on board a special needs school bus as it carried special needs students home yesterday. This is what is left of the Beaufort County school bus headed home from Chocowinity Middle School to Washington High School. It happened yesterday afternoon. The bus driver says they're lucky no one was injured in the fire, but we wanted to know what's being done to keep it from happening again. And not on your side's Andrea Blanford's been working on this one for us. Any answers for us, Andrea? Yeah, Alan, we do have some answers. The State Department of Public Instruction is investigating this fire. It's the sixth time a North Carolina school bus has bursted into flames this year alone. By the time bus driver Sheila Longo pulled the bus over, smoke was billowing out of the hood and bus monitor Barbara Moore was getting the children unstrapped from their seats. The only thing I was really thinking about was getting the children off. They were trained for this a month ago after a school bus in Charlotte caught on fire. What would apply to a regular bus doesn't apply to us. We have children in wheelchairs, children that, you know, have a hard time walking or what have you, so we, we just did what we had to do. They had to get the kids off the bus. Three went out the front. The student in the wheelchair was stuck on the ramp. Beaufort County School Superintendent Don Phipps says it's thanks to the bus staff and a fellow driver who helped get the last child off that no one was injured. Just arriving and seeing the bus in the condition that you see now was very scary. This isn't the first bus to catch fire. I called Derek Graham at the Department of Public Instruction to find out why. We were seeing some symptoms where electrical wiring was rubbing, and if it rubs raw, then it doesn't, uh, it doesn't end up well. He says those electrical issues were happening on Thomas-built freight liners, but this bus and another in Pitt County that burned in January were international models. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause of those fires. Anything that we can learn, I mean, that's the whole. That, that's what you try to salvage from this, especially when you've lost it. You know, a bus that's going to cost eighty thousand dollars to replace. For now, Moore and the rest of the bus staff will just have to keep rolling on. But we're just going to get on the bus like we always do and go take the children home and come back safe and sound. Derek Graham says while six bus fires sounds like a lot, this is a rare event. North Carolina has some 14,000 school buses on the road every day. I tried contacting the International Bus Company but have not heard back. Live in the newsroom, Andrea Blanford, 9 on your side.